What's going on everyone? This is ODC. It's me and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the Batman Arkham Knight series Azrael. Uh, this is by made by DC Collectibles. Um, it's also the figure is also sculpted by Gentle Giant Studios. Um, uh, looks pretty good. Um, if you did happen to check out my Professor Pig uh, review, uh, yeah, that figure, yeah, didn't quite work out so well. <laughs> so, moving on to Azrael, hopefully I have no problems with this figure, but um, knowing DC Collectibles, I am not going to put any money that, uh, uh, I'm not going to hold my breath, so to speak. But, I will say that the figure in packaging does look good. Uh, switching around to the side, you have a nice depiction of Azrael in this kind of grid pattern here. Uh, it says Arkham Knight, and he is figure number nine in the series. Uh, the other figures in the wave are uh, Red Hood, you have Man Bat, I've already done Professor Pig, and Azrael. Uh, I didn't really get a chance to do Professor Pig because, I mean, it kind of fell apart. So if you want to check out the, <laughs> I don't know, five minute video I did on him go ahead but it's just me bitching and moaning about the figure falling apart right out of packaging so let's get Azrael out of pick out of packaging or Azrael however you want to say it I, I know people love to just nitpick about that but um, let's get him out of packaging and we'll take a closer look at him we'll be right back okay and we're back with Azrael out of package and um, I think he looks really good. Um, I do like the sculpting a lot on him. Uh, obviously, DC Collectibles always does a very good job with their sculpt, uh, their sculpting, I should say. The articulation, uh, I mean, I really get worried because Professor Pig, the legs snapped right off on his right side. Um, I really get worried about moving this thing around um, because guess what folks just like Professor Pig I'm pretty sure all of these Arkham series figures have clear peg joints and now they're doing this new thing of painting them to make them seem like they're not clear and <laughs> they sure as hell are clear I I'm just warning you right now um, a co uh, one thing that really just kind of throws the figure off for me is how high the elbows are on this figure. Um, the elbows are like way up here. He's got this like huge forearm. Look how long that forearm is. That is the strangest thing I've ever seen. But I mean, he's like got this little ass bicep that's only really this big <laughs> from about here to here. And he's got this huge long forearm. <laughs> Look how long that forearm is. It's like the strangest arm I've ever seen. I don't know. It just throws. I, I don't. I noticed it right away, and it just kind of threw threw the uh, the figure off a little bit for me. Cause it, look how long that forearm is. It's pretty long. I don't know. And he's got like no bicep. I mean, the the arm goes all the way up to here at the cut joint. So I mean, it's at the, at your first glance, you probably don't even notice it, and I don't think anyone's pointed it out yet. Um, in, in most of the reviews that I've seen, um, I even went back to look at some reviews and I don't think anyone's pointed out how long the friggin' form, the, arm, the forearm is from the elbow joint down. Um, it just looks very odd to me. Um, it's just a pet peeve that I have, I guess, with the figure. Um, I'd say the sword looks fantastic. It looks just like the, um, just like it's supposed to right out of the, uh, the video game. Um, he's very limited when it comes to comparing him to the other figures in the line. Um, maybe not as limited as some, like, you know, Black Mask. Um, but don't forget, folks, when you're moving these joints around, I mean, I had to douse this guy in hot water before I even, when I took him out of package, because he was just so, everything was just super tight on him. And I, I really get worried with what happened to Professor Pig. And I would say at least um, just about over 10 of my other DC Collectibles figures that have snapped off joints. And, uh, and it's not even from doing much. It's just from, you know, moving the leg forward like that. Not, this is simple stuff. Um, I just get worried that the thing's going to just snap and fall apart. Um, they really got to up their quality. I thought they they did 
um, and I was really happy with DC collectibles and now um, this might be some of the last figures that I do from them because the quality control is just really piss poor on these figures I'm just I, I'm doing this and I'm saying this not not out of spite not because you know one figure broke because this isn't the first time that, that figures have broken uh, like this on me from DC collectibles um, do, other other than the joints breaking the figure looks frigging fantastic the sculpt looks great um, except for these weird <laughs> long uh, forearms um, other than that the figure looks ten times better than the original release and I'll just bring that in here from Arkham City um, he's bigger uh, he's taller he's bulkier um, each have a different type of sculpt uh, when it comes to like his gauntlets, they look fantastic, but the gauntlets themselves overall look better because they have these long blades on here. And as you can see, one of my blades have snapped off of my original Azrael as he falls over. Sorry, Michael. Stand up, please. Um, this is also not uh, Jean-Paul Valet. V Valet or Valley, as some people. Some people say Valley, some people say Valet. But... Um, uh, yeah, so, uh, this is Mr. Lane, so, in case you were wondering, but, uh, I just like this look better. It, it, it looks classier, I want to say, um, really does remind you of an Assassin's Creed character, like, it almost could be a part of an Assassin's Creed, uh, video game, when you look at him, but, um, not that there's not that there's anything wrong with this. I just think if I have to compare the two, I like this design much better. Um, the articulation is much better on this. I, I think, I mean, and I'm going <laughs> to, I know you're probably going to laugh when I say this, but the QC is actually better on this. I've had multiples of these, um, probably three I've gone through in the years, and I still have pieces falling off on him. So, just be forewarned, if you do have the Arkham City Azrael, that he does, A, he's not a very good figure to stand up, and B, um, pieces do snap off very easy. Um, I've had these hoses snap off, or just kind of disintegrate over time. Uh, but there you go with the comparison. Um, like I said, if you had to choose between the two, I'd go with the Arkham City ver version uh, so far, as far as we've gone through. Um, he's, he does have better articulation and range of motion than the Arkham City version as well. Um, he does have a swivel at the head, and it is a separate piece, the head here. So you have to uh, move the head separately from the, from the hoodie. So, I mean, that's kind of a drawback where the Arkham City kind of just had it attached. It's much easier to move around. Um, but I guess this makes it a little bit more lifelike because hoodies really don't tend to move with your head. They kind of want to sit where they want to sit. Um, but the arms... Oh, God, I really get worried with these clear plastic joints. I guess the arms go up about that far, which is kind of doo-doo. Let's compare it with the Arkham City. Um, so I guess not much improvement there, I would say. Um, stand. See, this is what I'm talking about. This guy won't stand. Ugh, whatever. He's got a single bend at the elbow. So does this Azrael. Um, so about uh, the same there. Oh my God, would you stand? Jesus. He's got a swivel at the wrist, um, and he does have a hinge joint, where this Azrael only has a swivel at the gauntlet, and no swivel anywhere else. So you're gaining much more articulation in the arm, in the forearm, and the wrist. So, and he also does have a swivel here, where this Azrael has no swivel um, at the at the elbow or the bicep joint. Um, he does have a diaphragm joint which goes forward and back and it can kind of pivot side to side a little bit like so so a little bit there not too much and it can swivel up top so you can line up the, his cross right here and it also swivels down below where the waist is supposed to be um, he only has uh, he doesn't even have a swivel no ab crunch no nothing so I mean you're getting better 
uh, range of motion and articulation there. Uh, the legs do go forward. Oh boy, I'm gonna regret doing this. But there's the legs on this guy, and this guy only goes forward that much. That That is how much he goes forward. <laughs> it's pretty pathetic. Um, this guy has a single bend, and this guy's got double jointed knees. Which is really nice. I mean, you can really pose this guy nicely. Uh, he has, also has an upper thigh swivel, and he's got an ankle hinge joint and an ankle pivot, um, where the Arkham City one um, only has a boot swivel, and like I said, a single bend at the knee, and then that's pretty much it. He's pretty much a statue from uh, the boot down. There's no ankle articulation of any kind, so let's just get him out of there. Um, and, and like I said, you might like the Arkham City version uh, by design better, but uh, maybe like the articulation better on the Arkham Knight version better. So, I mean, it's give or take. I mean, if, worst case scenario, you buy both. I mean, they're both cheap. They're both around 20 bucks. I know this Azrael, the Arkham City Azrael doesn't go for much still. Um, I tend to like the sword better, and just comparing the swords here, um, this looks much more intimidating than this. Uh, although this does look a lot more realistic, um, this looks pretty badass. I'm gonna be honest with you. Look how look at the difference there. Huge, huge difference. So. Um, unfortunately, he does not have a sheath, and I don't think he had one in the game. I don't remember him showing a sheath for his uh, big broadsword here. But um, uh, the the there's got some battle damage here, and overall the paint apps look really good on this guy. It's pretty uh, consistent, so no issues there with the paint. Uh, we got some little bit of wear and tear on the cape here. Uh, and overall, in the packaging, this actually came covered in a nice little plastic uh, covered covering to keep the this like a dust cover almost to keep it uh, from bending or getting scuffed. Um, the shoulder pad here is a nice pliable rubbery plastic, where this shoulder pad was a hard plastic that kind of would swivel up and down. Um, so that's a that's a plus. You don't have to worry about that snapping off or anything like that being the rubbery type material. Um, this whole piece is all one connected piece with the cape included. It's all that rubbery type material. I'd say the balancing on this figure is much better as well. Um, I don't have any issues with um, uh, compared to the Arkham City one. Um, I don't have as many issues as. I did with him trying to stand him and getting him into a natural looking pose. I mean, he's kind of almost pre-posed figure. There's only so many poses you can get him into. This guy can, if you want him to do backflips, you can do backflips. Um, you know, so that's much better. I really like the uh, the paint the paint detail on the leg here and all the sculpting just looks absolutely fantastic on this guy. Um, but like I said, be forewarned. They're all clear peg joints connecting the arms, the legs, and the head together. So just be careful moving your limbs around. Uh, don't force them. If they don't want to go any further, don't push them. Um, see, like his arm doesn't really want to move up. Like it, it, and I used hot water, keep in mind. Um, so his arms do go up about that far. And they do go down. I guess you can get them in a full 360 rotation, but you really got to loosen up the joints. So I'm just not going to risk it right here. Like I said, the broadsword looks fantastic. Um, overall, I do like this figure. Um, when I get a new Professor Pig from Big Bad Toy Store and my replacement's on the way, I'll do a full review. But um, as of right now, I still can't, I still can't recommend that figure. Um, I will recommend this figure because it didn't break on me. Um, and it looks much better. I feel like it's a much better figure than the Professor Pig figure. Um, better range of motion, better articulation, better quality control so far. Uh, but like I said, clear joints. Be careful, guys. Be careful when you're moving your limbs with DC collectibles. So that's pretty much it for me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you guys on the flip side.